this Memorial Day weekend, Historic Fort Snelling is offering you a unique look at the site's history. Joining us this morning is Rachel Abbott. And Rachel, uh, thanks for coming in this morning, Absolutely. first of all. Absolutely, thanks for having me. Busy weekend there. What can yes. people expect? So um, it, this is an event that's been going on for decades at Fort Snelling, but there's a lot new this year. So um, one thing that's new is there is uh, one of the buildings in the historic fort is set up to show um, military history sort of through the years at Fort Snelling. And so on Saturday, there's going to be a focus on the 1800s, you know, the Spanish-Mexican-American War and Civil War. And then in, uh, on Sunday, there's going to be more of a focus on conflicts in the 20th century, World War I, World okay. War II. Mm -hmm. um, and then this weekend, there are also two new exhibits that are opening at the fort that focus on veterans and, and um, military history as well. So there's just a lot of different kinds of activities to do for the whole family. Right. And if I know you have a lot of new events, but if this <coughs> will be your first time, what else can you expect? So Fort Snelling is mil uh, Minnesota's oldest military post, and um, there are costumed um, interpreters who are there on site to do different demonstrations. There's blacksmithing, hearth cooking, cannon firing, those sorts of things. Um, but and then there's just also an opportunity to really learn about Minnesota's military history since the early 1800s all the way up into the 20th century. Um, so it's, it's very hands-on, it's very interactive, and you learn about kind of the role that Minnesota played in these global conflicts and kind of America's military presence overseas mm -hmm. as well as, as domestic. Do you find that uh, people, maybe locals, say, oh, I, you know, I've heard of it, but I've just never been? Yeah, uh, yes, what absolutely. Are, wh it's what kind are people of right missing? in the middle. Well, I mean, it's, you know, there are a lot of things that are, that are named Fort Snelling, right? Mm -hmm. If you drive to the airport, everything's Fort Snelling something. Um, so I think people don't know if they've been there or it's sort of hard to find, but it's, it's a really um, incredibly rich, important place in Minnesota. Minnesota's history, so a lot of people, I think, just know about the military history, and of course, it's Memorial Day weekend, mm -hmm. so we're focused this weekend on veterans and military history, mm -hmm. um, and, and it is a fort, but it also, the life there at the fort played a role in, in a lot more than that. So, for example, um, Dred Scott and his wife Harriet Scott lived at historic Fort Snelling oh. for a while huh. before mm. it was historic Fort Snelling when it was just Fort Snelling, mm -hmm. um, and, and that was prior to the court case, and so okay. there, it, military events and sort of national history impacted Fort Snelling, but Fort Snelling also hmm. impacted American history, and it's a much more rich and diverse story than I think people realize. It all kind of ties in, too, yeah. yeah. And it's a beautiful setting, too. Mm -hmm. It is a beautiful setting. Yeah. Lots of beautiful views of the, you know, the confluence of the Minnesota and Mississippi rivers mm -hmm. there, so it's a really beautiful place, rich story. You know, if, if people think they've been there before, there's always a lot uh, more to learn. So drive there or bike there. Or bus there. Or on, bus there. On, on Monday, actually, um, Metro Transit's doing free rides. So right. look that up on our website. Memorial Day weekend at Fort Snelling begins at 10 this morning and goes until right. 5. It's $12 for adults, 6 bucks for anyone from age 5 to 17. And we do have a link to that on our website. Thanks, Rachel. Thank you Thank so you. much.